So, you <laughs> big huh? Yeah, it's not riding, you're on the back of the bike. It's not riding the bike. <laughs> Listen to you. So, uh, so, so basically, what I they reckon I can't ride on the back of a motorbike. The road from here is like bad. I've been a pillion passenger all my life. Yeah. But, you know, they forbid me to go on the back of a bike. Take one of the bikes and ride it and show them how it's done in it. <laughs> so we get this? We don't need to taxi this time. All right, come on then. Okay, so we're actually um, in a place called Dodawa. Um, we're looking at land, which is where we propose to build the orphanage, the men's homeless shelter, the women and children's refuge, and also the community centre, which is where they will congregate to eat um, and to run workshops and seminars. Because uh, now the government is coming here, so they, they didn't. They just do the road, and people are just passing. Now that they know that people are buying here because of uh, the big business, you know when they are passing, they are coming to sites to build sand, and then this oh, for the, so the trucks. The the trucks. Kind of stuff, but right, they will yeah. fix the road. Okay, so what we're doing is we're now going to see the proposed land that we can purchase to um, build the orphanage in that. This is really hard for me because I don't like bush. I, I actually can't stand to walk um, in grass and greenery and all that kind of stuff. So I find it very difficult, but I'm going to soldier on. It's for a good reason, it's for a good cause. Um, but so here, because it's not yet developed, we can get 20 plots if we want, um, all in one place. Whereas because everywhere else is being built up and people have already purchased land, we're getting like, we'll have, we'll have to get like a plot here, a plot there, all over the place. And so we prefer to have it where we can do one big thing. Um, so Sheldon Buckle can be on the map, so to speak. So as soon as you're touching Ghana and you're here, or you ask about Sheldon Buckle, what are you saying? Um, you ask about Sheldon Buckle, they can tell you exactly where we are and where to find the orphanage and where to find the community centre and you know where to come um, and help you know um, that's what we envision now I know you're looking at it and you're just thinking it's just land there's nothing around it um, the road's not done or anything like that as you can see it's literally dirt road um, it was real rocky road to get here because as the land is being bought You've got all the big trucks that come in and the trucks, when they drive through the dirt roads, they take some of the dirt with, with it because you don't get stuck to the, the indent of the wheels. And so you'll find that there's a lot like down here, if you look at this, right, so you'll see that a truck has come by whilst that's wet and has taken some of the dirt with it. And so you're left with these dips. Um, don't worry about it because I want you to think and just visualize where you live right now before it was built up because everywhere started off like this um, and then gradually as it people bought land it got built up and then the surroundings started being built up and then all of a sudden you've got a town um, and then from that you've got a city and so it all starts somewhere so don't look at what it is now just look at what it can become okay Cool. It's left with here. You see the store building there. There are many buildings around the area. There. Okay. Uh, so the only portion left is here. Right. More than four, four acres is here. Then if we we'll just we we'll just bring grader to clean it, finish on time. It's not a simple, it's a very simple work. Yeah, the grader uh, they just flatten the whole thing. And they just flat the, the place and that's all. And this is something that in future yeah, yeah. and we bought it 
and we put it down. But we are not building anything yet. Right. Even it is not a, a plan. Before okay. we are want to build the And so the water supplied, here. like the other place, well, the water mains, what about All the here? water here, yeah, the, the, this water covers up to Medina. Medina. Okay. It's very strong here. All here, when you put pipe, it's running. Is it Ghana water? You can Ghana water. Oh, okay. All here, when you put pipe, it is running. <laughs> because it's very close to the water supply. Okay. All this area to Medina. Okay. Uh, so this place, they don't have problem for water. Even there is light when you see. People are using oh, light. Electric. See, yeah, light is electric is there. You see? But only the poles. The oh, the electric yeah, poles. The electric poles. That one is just when you finish, we just go and see them. You see? All these lines are electric poles. Yeah. All these lines. People are using lights up. make it um, livable for those that are homeless but not just livable we want to create jobs for them so we want to open stores we want to you know have a restaurant that they can work in you know um, we want to plant things so that we can employ farmers to come and you know cultivate the land and um, you know get the crops and we just want to make jobs we want to give them hope for the future a chance in life and right now what they're doing is sleeping any and anywhere that they can find ground and out on the street begging. And I'm talking about children as little as three years old. Come on, people. I know that, you know, they're not our children and we don't know them from anywhere, but guess what? They're human. They're mankind like us. They are God's creation, just like us. And so we're just thankful for where we've been born and what we have and what we can achieve and what we can get we need to think about someone that aims privileges us. And so that's what we want to do at Shield and Butler. We want to, um, you know, give people hope in a world where everybody is somebody. Yeah. It's been a long day. Um, going through all the dust, as you can see, I've even changed my hat to change my hair and take it out of being out but you know what it's been a productive day we've seen the land that we are interested in i'm just gonna liaise with other people um, to make sure that that's what they want as well but uh, once again let me just tell you what our aim is our aim is to acquire land and we want to get a men's homeless shelter going an orphanage going a community center which is where we will feed the homeless continuously and also a women and children's refuge now there's loads of homeless people of no fault of their own that have fled from other countries and we just want to bring hope to them you know we don't want them to think that no one cares about them we want to spread the love that we feel from our families we want them to feel loved especially children as young as two years old and three year olds that are homeless parentless guys i mean no one that they call mum and dad those are the ones that we want to do something special for we want to make them be brought up in a home in a family environment somewhere that they can feel loved just like we did when we were growing up so my appeal to you is um, to just do what you can to help us to help them because we believe that everybody is somebody in this world and so just do your part whatever little that you do every little counts okay so let's just do this and get this off we want to actually be I would say finished by midsummer next year um, and like I said that even though we get the land they don't have to wait until the buildings are up to start using the land we're going to provide tents for them places that they can shower and change obviously separate for the women and, and men um, and just somewhere that they can call their home that they won't be They've, apparently the police have been moving them on, scattering them, burning their items. No, we don't want that. You know, we know that there's nothing in place 
in this governmental system over here in Ghana and so we want to instill something and then we want to provoke the government to do something and do better here in Ghana.